Hi, I'm Doug Kilgariff with Eaton. Today we're going to talk about smart airflow management strategies for your data center. Industry studies have shown us that up to 60% of cooling supplied in legacy data centers is wasted. It's wasted in the form of bypass air. Bypass air steals profitability from companies. Smart airflow management strategies can absolutely increase the efficiencies of your data center, not only on the cooling side, but certainly on the energy consumption side as well. I think we've all seen that in legacy data center designs, the typical design called for over-provisioning of the cooling system. And sometimes we've seen cooling capacities two to three times the actual requirement of the IT load. In its simplest form, airflow management is just separating hot and cold air streams in the data center and how we actually manage those pathways so that we put predictability into an extremely chaotic environment. The concept really is to put a thermal barrier that allows us to put cold supply air to the inlet temperature of the IT load, and then grab that hot exhaust and pull that back to the cooling systems. To get predictability into this chaotic environment, one of the best ways to do that is benchmark your facility. Things like on-site airflow analysis, cooling analysis, thermal imaging, and CFD modeling allow the designers and the implementers to really take a look at what methodology may work best for them. Existing site conditions may actually dictate the methodology of containment you can deploy. Things to consider are fire suppression, lighting systems, and other obstructions like structured cable. They may actually tell you that you can choose one containment, cold aisle, hot aisle, or rack-based strategy over another. Optimizing your data center for airflow management starts with the rack. There's five critical areas that the racks tend to leak. Beneath the frame, to the right and to the left of the internal rails, below those rails, and also above them. When you look at airflow management at the row level, it's a little different than the rack. You're looking first at big gaping holes, gaps between racks, okay? the ends of the rows themselves. How you address that is simple. Between racks, there's things like vertical partitions or vertical blanking panels that allow you to seal that space off. At the end of rows, you can add things like end of row doors. So remember, there's no one size fits all containment strategy and airflow management strategy in a data center. So regardless of the size, the shape, or the condition of your data center, it's vitally important that you start. And also, before you actually implement any containment strategy, check with your local AHJ.